thank you very much uh, to all of you for the organizers uh, give me this platform to present a few points after a couple of talks in the trade and business let's come back to maritime training again the eminent speakers in the morning were uh, putting across a lot of interesting points regarding the expectations and what is happening in maritime training mr uh, deepak uh, sethi sir was mentioning about the fly by night operators and uh, other than uh, about 10 to 15 operators the credentials of other maritime training institute operators to be in this business also mr p h krishnan who was into the fleet personnel and crewing manager for uh, care ship management was mentioning the training is not up to the expectation of the ship owner and the deteriorating quality of seafarers there were a lot of uh, presentations on the digital learning etc and uh, mr nigam sir was uh, really asking whether this is all uh, about only the future and what about what is going to be the current scenario what about the basic skills of the present seafarers to operate the ships well we keep talking about these ideas and i don't know to whom we are talking we are all basic mariners most of us are been sailors and we are talking about maritime training and we are expecting that somebody else will come and do these things for us this has been the situation what me i am seeing this for last 30 years thinking that we are talking to others this is the situation and what we did from our side to it even though we have very few good maritime training centers and we also have some of them are very have excellent uh, infrastructures still we talk about that we are not satisfied with the maritime education and the question is that how can we improve definitely the on board training is reducing now the crew number is coming to 20 to 18 now and the operational pressures are increasing and uh, the on board training okay it is happening to some extent but not to the fullest extent what we are expecting which put a lot of pressure on the shore based training that we expect that more and more thing is that the people should know learn from the shore side and come back to the ships but what happens on the shore based training well as i said as i told before we have some good infrastructures uh, etc we have it's not that the total lack of it but one point what we see is that the absence of motivated faculty who is currently on the job means who is doing the present ships and it is updated and uh, the lack of those faculty is one factor which is affecting the shore based training what we need is the currently sailing officers to be the part of training program and the training establishment we are all here me also go many times as visiting faculties to the training institutes does some uh, the training uh, you know as a visiting faculties and come back but uh, 
uh, seen that many of us ma lacks motivation to do the training more than the, you know, the, the faculty money as a visiting professor what we get. More than that, we don't get that drive or the dedication to do the training. Obviously, because we are not part of that training program, we don't feel that attachment to the training institute or to the students. Maritime training is the best when it is through the training ships or shipyards. It used to be training ships at TS Rajendra, Dufferin, or even the the DMET training program or the Mesagon Doc Fellows. These programs used to be the best, uh, the training programs, what we had. But later when we had all the troubles coming up and uh, you know we had less and less uh, training really happening or the other issues what was happening with those things, we came into the, the shipping campus requirements that you know it's not possible to do every training at the, the docks or the shipyards. And we shifted or we expected a lot of things will shift into the, the training, uh, shipping campuses and we can do those things. Classroom based training imparts knowledge. I think it is good in that side. But the skill what we were expecting to be developed in those areas were not really happening. This is the situation now. And we keep discussing this, that this is happening, that is happening, why this is like this and the question was there what are we really doing about this? And just here to introduce you a small uh, training experiment, what you are trying to do in the southernmost uh, part of India in Kerala. Here we have a, a Mariners Club, Mariners Club Trishur, which is a merchant officers club from Trishur with more than uh, 400 members. All of them are young fellows currently sailing from all departments of uh, the Merchant Navy. We have engineers, ETOs, deck officers. And we stand as a club or as an association, we stand for its members, services to society. We do a, a lot of things into the education and training and also work with uh, some consultancy with the, the shipping industry, with the Kerala government, etc. For the members, we do a lot of, uh, you know, things like charity and insurance, some legal and uh, medical supports, etc. Uh, we also do uh, training programs uh, uh, to the, the shipping industry. We are doing some training programs to the fishermen. Uh, when we had, uh, I don't know, uh, two or three incidents where all the Kerala cost, where the merchant ship was getting ramped into the fishing boats and then a lot of uh, hue and cry, the merchant ships are not following the rules and regulations. So these are the time we entered our national Navy officers, we are training giving training to the fishermen and telling that this is how this thing is really working and okay there may be some uh, you know the wrong things in the part of the merchant ships what the fishermen can do what they should know how the shipping is working so we are giving some training programs to the fishermen on the Kerala coast uh, on this regard maybe maybe some improvement to the you know from the other side also will help the situation we were also doing some uh, basic skill development program for the students of the colleges and uh, uh, schools, etc., expecting that you know that basic skills uh, in the social responsibility, firefighting, basic skills, they will improve improve them to come a uh, good citizens. Maybe they may come into the marine uh, uh, shipping or uh, tradition or something. But other than that, also as a good citizens, these things will help them. So we were in as a, as an association, as a club, we were engaged in uh, these kind of activities. Our club is having uh, a bunch of young and uh, very enthusiastic merchant navy officers who want to actively include, involve in the maritime training. We were discussing, okay, we are discussing this thing that this is what is wrong or this is not uh, being satisfied, that Indian seafarers are losing and everything. But what actually can we do about it? We together contributed and purchased and now operates a college called College of Ship Technology. This is our combined effort. CSC is an existing college uh, which has an excellent infrastructure and uh, does various training programs in the shipbuilding and repair with the IMA affiliation. This college is an existing one and uh, previously it was doing uh, the training program for the, the shipyard industry. Basically what I'm telling is that that's the base industry what we have. When we go to the ships, we do the operation and the skill and the, part of the operation part of it. But what we need, the basic skills in the, uh, the general or the base industry of the shipbuilding and repair, 
will help a lot. That was what we were actually learning in TS Dufrin or in Mesagon um, um, Docs or when we had the workshop uh, basic training programs. That was what really was happening. Presently, our uh, junior ranks and the GB ratings, we are having a tough time to get the jobs. The market is flooded. And other uh, reasons are also there why they are unable to get the job in the international scenario. How to improve it? One way to improve is this uh, to improve the basic skills. Because many times, what as Mr. Uh, uh, Krishan Sa was telling is that they lack the basic skills or the quality. And how to improve it is you improve the quality through the training processes. More skills in the workshop practices, electrical, electronics, mechanics, welding. Remember, these are the things what we are really missing. You go to a GP rating program or a, you know the, the, the BTEC programs or uh, the B GME programs or the BSc nautical science programs. The workshop practices uh, portion is very, very less. And we go as the knowledge part may be okay, good. They're coming as you know the offices part and everything may be, may be okay, the knowledge part may be. But the skill development part is actually uh, is reduced or lacking in the, the, the next production, the next generation which is coming up. So we established a, a trust called the Marinas Educational Trust to operate our college with the vision which envisages the empowering of the youth for the career and challenges in the shipping industry by bringing together the shipping industry people using their experience, expertise, resources, services and providing the world class maritime and training in, uh, is the vision what we have. We look at the each world of it, we are telling you that we ourselves have to take care of the situation. We believe this is the right way to move ahead. When these young officers who is presently, they have the experience, they definitely have the resources to invest to make uh, in an institute and all those things. They can give the lectures as a faculty, visiting faculties and everything, the services. And they have a lot of contacts and other things to improve the, you know, the standards of education and training. When they have a stake in the academy, this is what we stressed, that you are owning an institute now. This is your baby now. You take care of it. We expect that they'll have more dedication and will be more dedicated, which will improve Indian maritime training. So we conduct few programs up here the three-year uh, shipbuilding and repair uh, programs under the IMU. Definitely this is a shipbuilding and program and subsequently they can upgrade this program into a, a GME program or uh, in, in any other relevant industry they can upgrade. There is a scope under the IMU for that. And uh, we also do a, a BTEC graduate marine engineering program. This is basically for the shipyard engineers. We do some skill upgradation program for ABs and oilers. This is in, uh, in uh, collaboration with a few shipping companies where they want to improve their uh, ABs and oilers into the pump man and uh, uh, the fitter. So we give specific uh, six months program for those fellows. And we recently have uh, made another program for the junior officers. There is a lot of junior officers who are not finding able to find uh, suitable jobs or job opportunities. We tell them that you upgrade. Anything, mechanical, electrical, welding, fitting, artificial engineers, whatever the future things are coming up, you need to improve, upgrade on the basic skills. And also we do other, some other specific certification courses uh, for the shipping industry. That is a small uh, experiment what we are trying to do with uh, the College of Ship Technology through our small association called uh, Marinas Club Trishur. We look forward for uh, the support. Definitely, the shipping industry has to support for this uh, unique vision and mission. Thank you very much.